Ryan Kaiser and I'm a principal solution consultant here at Concur. What I wanted to do today was I wanted to show you what Concur looks like through the eyes of April Ludgate, who is a Concur user, although she's a first time Concur user. And what she needs to do is submit an invoice. But wait a second, what if she doesn't have any training? What if she doesn't have time to go through training or sit through any videos? She has to submit an invoice so a vendor can be paid ASAP. Well, what if there was an application to help me do that, to help me get through the system to complete that specific task? And that's where Jumpsy enters into the fray. If you'll notice, if I look in the upper right hand corner, this little paper airplane represents Jumpsy. And what Jumpsy is, is a powerful application that can sit over Concur to help guide me through specific steps that I need to take in order to complete a specific task. So if I click on this item, icon, this is going to expand out all the guides that are at my disposal. Now for today's purposes, we're going to focus on this invoice guide, which is going to show me how I need to submit an invoice. By clicking on that, that's going to pop up and initiate that guide. So right now I'm in the invoice submission guide and I click on the next step in order to go to the next rung in, in the uh, process. You can see by clicking next, this is going to take me through that step to where it's highlighting or spotlighting, if you will. I need to click on the invoice tab in order to see my unsubmitted invoices that are out there. So by clicking on that tab, this is going to populate this page and you can see there's a lot going on here. But since our focus is honing in on those unsubmitted invoices, I can see here they are. And by selecting this link, which is what the system is telling me to do, this is going to populate all of the specific unsubmitted invoices that are out there. And I need to, to focus on a specific given area. Now, by clicking on this invoice in question, this is going to take me to the line level detail of that invoice. And there's a lot of information that's here for me. You can see that the system is showing me here's the vendor information. So what Concur has done is it's imaged that invoice and it's actually been routed to me. But when it's imaged that invoice, it's taken it through machine learning and artificial intelligence and matched up that vendor against our vendor master list. So this is me verifying the vendor that uh, the system has matched it against. I click next and this is going to show me all of the header level detail that's on the invoice. So when the invoice came through, Concur was able to image both the header and the line item detail and transpose it right here on the screen for me. If I go to this next step, this is going to show me that individualized line item detail here and I can verify that this is correct. It's telecommunication equipment. I've got uh, the PO number is 30, a quantity of 25 at a unit price of 240 for the total price of $6,000. Now going to the next step, what if I need to make some modifications to this line item detail in the form of distributing the cost across a specific cost object or WBS element or whatever the case may be. I can select this and um, choose to distribute the item. And this is where um, the system is showing me, here's where I need to make my distribution selections. And Jump Seed is helping me get through that process here. Now, if I wanna keep going down the line here, you can see I can view the invoice that is attached to this. So this is the actual invoice image that was sent into the tool where the imaging process from a machine learning and artificial intelligence perspective, this is where that happened right here. So I can see all of this machine, um, all of this information right here that the system was able to capture. Now, by going to the next step, this is going to show me that the purchase order is attached to this invoice as well. So that's one of the things that Concur is able to do is either a two-way or a three-way match. So I can select on the purchase order to see all of this individualized data. And these are all of the line item pieces of information that the system has um, brought in. And we can bring in either the PO detail from a source financial system, or you can even create the purchase order within Concur itself. And so I can see all of the line items that are associated with that purchase order and then I can even click on the matching summary. So here's where it gets really interesting. Concur, again, can not only match from a two-way perspective, but also a three-way point of view as well. So I can see down below that here is where Concur was able to match the invoice against the purchase order. And I can even see the receiving data. So Concur can either allow you to create the receiving inside of Concur or even import the receiving on an automated basis to create that three-way match. So we can show you what was ordered versus invoiced 
versus received. So if anything doesn't match, the system will automatically take you through that information for you. I can even check the approval flow here. So I can look at the approval, I can see where it needs to go. Once I hit submit, this is gonna go to my approver, but Concur can be very dynamic in nature as this step shows, so that if it needs to pivot to a different budgetary owner, or if it is over a specific amount and needs to go to a secondary approver, Concur can automatically invoke those approval steps and I as a user don't need to remember that. So this is the system showing me to verify what does that approval chain look like and understand where it's gonna go once I hit the submit button. So everything looks good from here. I'll click on the next button. And guess what? It's time to submit. I verified everything. I made my necessary allocations and distributions. All I need to do now is hit that submit button. I hit submit and boom, it looks like we finished and I can go back to the list and look at and complete any other unsubmitted invoices that are on that page that we previously showed. And we have a little congratulatory um, finishing step here that says, hey, you did it. You submitted everything and you're good to go. So I hope this was a good initial um, perspective on how to submit an invoice utilizing both Concur and Jumpsy. And you can see that even a novice user can get through the tool because the system is created in terms of Jumpsy is created to help that user go through any necessary steps as quickly and efficiently as possible to complete a specific task. And I was able to create this guide myself. So you don't have to rely on other people to create guides for you. It's simple and easy to create a specific guide and add necessary steps to help guide a user easily through any specific steps that are, that are necessary. So I hope this was a, a quick walkthrough. Um, thank you so much for your time and have a great day.